Eastside High School sophomore killed in a tragic accident. Police say she was a passenger in a car that went off the road. That small town now remembering one of their own tonight in a very big way. Hunter Hoagland talked to people who knew her best. Hunter. Yeah, Bob, a heartbreaking loss for so many in Bauxite. People I talked to say they want to look back at pictures like this one of Kayla Bubbis and focus not on how she left this world, but on everything she left behind. A quiet court. I still really think I'm in shock. I don't really think of it. It's real. And the emptiness in a mother's heart. I love her and I'm proud of her. And that we miss her. For Lisa Bubbis, her daughter Kayla, one of her greatest accomplishments. <laughs> she was a star athlete at Boxite High School. And as good as she was at serving it over the net, her family says she was even better at serving others. She taught me a lot. She was always pushing her peers to be better, whether it was school or whether it was just being honest or, or on the court. But time for this 16-year-old ran out when on January 3rd she was killed in a car accident, leaving an emptiness on the court that can never be filled. We have decided as a program to retire her jersey. She'll keep watching over the gym as her jersey hangs at Boxite High, a reminder of the small 5'2 girl who wore the number 4, forever remembered as someone who made a big difference. We have a cheer. After every huddle, we say, who do we play for? And it's Lady Miners. Well, her number was four. And so the girls have said, who do we play for? Number four. And that will be our cheer for this season. So while the court will feel quieter without Kayla, her legacy is one that will continue to speak volumes. I always told her that I was proud and that she made an impact on everybody. But I wanted her to see that. And I hope she does. There's a trend also circulating on social media tonight, hashtag live like Kayla, which I'm told means stick to your values, stick to your core, and to act as if somebody is always watching, even when you're not on the court. Bob, back to you. Hunter, thanks very much.